This local sports report is presented by Homewood Suites by Hilton of Cambridge Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports and the Hespler Shamrocks. Call now to take advantage of Homewood's sport rate offer and receive a discount for your accommodation. Homewood is your home away from home for tournaments and special events. Book your stay now by calling 519-651-2888 or visit cambridgewaterloo.homewoodsuites.com. It's a pivotal Game 3 in the Doherty Division playoffs from Hasbler. The Shamrocks hitting the ice with a 2-0 series lead. The Tavistock Braves needing a win on the road to get back into the best of seven. The two teams battling on Sunday. Opening period, here is Nick Thibodeau breaking in. He makes a move, feeds Nick Hambly, who rips it in. Hambly with his first marker of the postseason. He makes a 1-0 Tavistock after 20 minutes. Second period now, the Shamrocks looking to pull even, but how about James? Hopper. He robs Braden Tyler on the doorstep. The kid they call Brickwall keeps it one nothing for the T-Braves. A few minutes later, here is Ian Glendinning with the puck. He feeds Ryan Suljak and it's a big Sally after a huge goal. Suljak extending the lead. He makes it 2 nothing Tavistock. The Shamrocks now looking to get something going. Ryan Fraser gives it to Jet Spark. He comes in and scores a beauty. Spark getting Hespler on the board. They now trail 2-1. Later in the period, Tavistock answers. Caden Brame to Will Schlotzhauer. Ian Glendinning gets the goal. He puts it in, restoring the two-goal advantage. It's 3-1 Tavistock after 40 minutes. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by Homewood Suites, a proud supporter of the Shamrocks. Call Homewood to take advantage of their sport rate offer at 519-651-2888. Third period, now more Braves offense. This is Jacob Reed Brand coming in, and look out! It's a top-shelf snipe from JRB. He gives Tavistock a three-goal advantage for one Braves, but the Shamrocks not going down quietly. They have a man advantage. The feed for both Odin White and he scores. White makes it a two goal game with his second marker of the series. And the Shamrocks keep coming. Andrew Harris behind the net to Bowden White. Here comes Hasbler. All of a sudden they trail by a goal. And the Shammy's looking to tie it up in the final minute. Bowden White looking for Andrew Harris. The puck is off the post. And James Hopper grabs it for a whistle. What a finish in game three. The Braves hang on for a 4 3 victory. And we've got a series. We spoke with Ian Glenn Dinning and Ryan Suljak after the game. It's a massive win for the Tavistock Braves and they're right back in this series after a 4-3 victory here in Game 3 over Hespler. We got Ian Glenn Dinning, we got Ryan Suljak who both scored goals here this afternoon. We'll start with you, Glennie. What was the difference today as opposed to the first two games of the series? I think we just didn't have it the first two games. I think we kind of beat ourselves a little bit with penalties and just not playing the systems and uh, tonight we came out, played the systems, everyone committed to their roles and showed the magnitude of this victory is what for you guys, Ryan? Obviously, your back's a little bit against the wall. If you go down 3-0, you're in a tough spot. Now we got ourselves a series, man. I think this is where we thrive. We're uh, we're in a position now where we know everybody does their job will be successful. So that's the mentality going forward. Just outwork them. Two words for you, James Hopper. What can you say? Brick wall. Brick wall. He made some great saves in the third period, diving across on one. Uh, they hit the post at the end. Describe the momentum you believe you've got now. One victory obviously doesn't define a series. Uh, but you're a much better spot than you were 24 hours ago. I mean, we knew we could do it. It was just proving to everybody and ourselves that we could do it. So it's only up from here. Let's quickly talk about the next couple of games, Ian. They go back to your barn now for games four and five. Game four will be Wednesday night in Tavistock. Game five on Friday. We know there will be a game five now. Uh, what's the buzz with you guys now? You know, we uh, smaller ice heading back to Tavi, home atmosphere. Um, we don't lose at home, so we're ready to go. As one of the big leaders on this team, obviously, um, you guys kind of had to grab the young guys a little bit too. You're down to nothing. What did you kind of say to get everybody back on the same page to get a huge win here on the road today? You know, it's just uh, letting them know that it's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. So everyone's got to do what they can, take the hits, you know, take that dump in instead of trying to walk a guy. and. That's what we did here tonight and successful. Describe Ryan Suljak's cowboy hat for me. Sully style. Sully style. Sully style is what he's calling. What do you say, Ryan? I'd agree. The Braves are happy after a big win here in game three in Hesper. We got Sully Stye and we got a big goal from me and Glenn Dinning. Game four will be Wednesday night presented by Homewood Suites. That'll be in Tavistock. Puck drop is at 730.